This is Stu Ellis reporting on behalf of the Illinois Soybean Association Checkoff Program. If water hemp is an issue in your bean fields, try an old standby herbicide that might be bargain priced. Illinois weed specialist Aaron Hager says Metribuzin has long-term control. And so in soybean, some of our you know, quote unquote frontline products that we use to control things like the water hemps and the pigweeds are soil applied PPO inhibitors. We have widespread resistance to PPOs. And so about two to three years ago, we started an experiment to say, okay, what is the length of residual control on a PPO resistant water hemp population with a PPO compared with metribuzin, since we do not see the resistance to metribuzin? And essentially, what we've been able to consistently replicate over about the last three years is that by far and away, we get much better control later into the growing season with metribuzin as compared to the PPO materials on these resistant populations. Now, metribuzin is a very old herbicide. It's been around for decades, and some folks have either forgot about it or they don't use the appropriate rate based on the soil type or they have concerns about soybean injury. Now the soybean injury concern, that's a valid concern. We have had that, we will continue to see injury into the future, but sometimes I think we lose sight of the fact that we do see injury from many of our other soil applied herbicides. We see widespread injury from some of the soil applied PPO products. So the metribuzin is not necessarily any worse in terms of soybean injury, but yet we can realize a much higher level of water hemp control if we select the appropriate rate based on the label recommendations for soil type, organic matter, pH, etc., and if we know whether or not that we have a sensitive variety or a variety that may show more sensitivity or not to metribuzin, and those are things that we can have that conversation with the seed company from whom we're purchasing that seed. You mentioned that this is going to be later in the season. Tell me what later means. Well, for example, we'll show us some data that we took evaluations at 28 days after planting. And our highest rate of sulfentrazone, the level of control was only about 50%. We compare that with some rates of metribuzin out to 42 days later, and we're still about 93% control. So again, we've got a viable option there. That's your soybean update. I'm Stu Ellis. To learn more about the Illinois Soybean Association and the checkoff that pays off, go to illsoy.org.